broadcasting from Studio 202 at the Springit Technology Center in Navasota, Texas. It's NOV Live. Now, let's start the show. Hello and welcome to NOV Live. My name is Shelby Dumain and I'm your host this morning. Uh, this is the show where we talk about the people and technology who make NOV what it is who make NOV so amazing. And we want to welcome you to the show, wherever you're tuning in from, anywhere in the world, on any social media platform. Uh, welcome to the show, and we thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, we're talking about Positrack, so it's going to be a pretty great show. And if you have any questions throughout the show, uh, whether you're watching this right now live with us or if you're watching this later on, feel free to put those questions in the comment section. And um, if it's while we're live, we'll try to answer them. Uh, if not, we'll we'll get in the comments and reply back to you and, and answer you as soon as possible. Uh, but I don't want to hold us uh, off from the, the main uh, topic we're going to be discussing any longer. I want to introduce our guests. We have Danny Perez and Roman Che. Welcome to the welcome to the show. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us, Shelby. Anytime. Uh, can we start off? Do you mind telling the audience a little bit about yourselves and about what you do here at NOV? Sure. Um, my name is Roman Che. I'm on product line team with NOV Downhall. I mm -hmm. work very closely with Danny. I'm based out of Houston, and uh, we're pretty excited to design and work on new tools. Um, I specifically support agitators, shock tools, mm -hmm. and posit tracks. Mm -hmm. Danny. Yeah, so my name is Danny Perez. I'm also based here in, in Houston, part of the product line uh, team looking after drilling tools and very excited to work with this Positrack is the latest addition to the <laughs> to the team, to the portfolio. And uh, yeah, keeping us busy. So it's a good thing. Thank yes. you for having us. Yeah, absolutely. Anytime. I'm, I'm excited to talk about it. Whenever I hear Positrack, um, one of my favorite movies growing up was My Cousin Vinny, and they talked about yes. Paz Attraction and all that. So that's where my mind goes is Marissa Tomei, but I don't know that it's quite the same. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about when we keep saying Paz Attract, what are we talking about? And and maybe I also want to add to that, I like to come, what challenges is Paz Attract addressing? That, sure. Yeah, I can, I can take that, that question. Um, so, yes, I remember that movie. <laughs> yeah. It's a good clip. And she actually explains it very well at very technical levels <laughs> right. on the automotive side. <laughs> yep. But it's very similar in oh, really? uh, what we do. That's that's why we picked that name. Actually, Russ uh, Gilliam picked the name <laughs> because he's a awesome. fanatic. <laughs> That's so, awesome. so yeah, it's like I said, it's our latest addition to the to the family of drilling tools that we support mm -hmm. um, uh, to help our customers. And the main objective of the tool is to help with torsional vibrations. Mm -hmm. I mean, for years, uh, the very expensive components in the lower BHA, like RSS, MWDs, LWDs, right. they've been suffering from torsional vibration events mm -hmm. at different frequency ranges, right? And this is very costly to them, mm -hmm. and as well as to their customers. Uh, tools like the Positrack are designed to absorb torsional vibrations and protect this very equi uh, expensive equipment. Uh, so we are enabling the directional companies to keep their tools in the hole longer. Uh, mm -hmm. In many cases, they can run the tools in more runs, so they're getting more hours out of mm -hmm. each, each tool, which for them is, is, is a big deal because it, it helps you manage that tool fleet that they have, right? Right. And... Um, and that, that's the, the, the main objective. Um, I would like to, to specify that uh, we do have the original patent that mm. protects this type of technology. There is a lot of competitors like any other tool out there. <laughs> right. but We're the our original. Origi <laughs> exactly. yes, yeah. yes. But having the original patent, it pushes other people to have to design around our features. And that obviously, you know, elevates their tools to a different uh, level of risk. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, very excited. The tool is, is doing great. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, is growing. Uh, there is uh, great acceptance by our customers, and yeah, mm -hmm. we'll keep pushing. It's exciting, exciting. And I, I heard you mention um, torsional vibration. So I wanted to ask, what um, type of vibration does Positrack Track mitigate? Um, and I also, does that have anything to do with I have uh, like reducing was it axial shocks, vibration? Can you talk a little bit about that um, relationship? Yes. Sure. So. Positrack is a torsional vibration mitigating technology. Mm -hmm. So as the name suggests, um, primarily this tool focuses on mitigating torsional vibrations. Mm. Now, the torsional vibration itself can be present in the system in different ways and forms. Mm. They could be present at various magnitudes um, and of various frequencies. Uh, so they, there could be a lower uh, frequency torsional oscillations in the system. Mm -hmm. uh, such as stick slip, 
or on the other end of the spectrum, there could be a more severe, more damaging types of torsional vibrations, which is known as HFTO, high frequency torsional oscillation. So this tool was primarily designed to address this kind of issues. I will say though, that there's also a built-in compartment within this tool, mm. which is responsible for axial vibration mitigation as well. So mm. if there is bit bouncing, BHA bouncing, or any weight on bit fluctuation within the lower part of the BHA, this tool will um, try and resolve those issues mm. as well. Okay. So I will add also okay. that um, the overall tool's efficiency somewhat depends on the tool proximity to the mm. source of vibration. As long as we could get near that origin of stick slip, we can uh, effectively mitigate torsional and axial vibrations. Oh, that's incredible. And I know you, Danny, you had mentioned a little bit about having the original patent. So Roman, I wanted to ask you as well, um, when you know, there's, we've talked about the other competitors out there, uh, why do customers come back and, and continue to choose Positrack? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, obviously, it's no secret that there's a quite a few players in mm -hmm. this space already. So I guess to some of our viewers and probably to some customers of ours, mm -hmm. the uh, positive track is just another addition to the pack. Right. And I understand that there are several differences among all of these products on the market. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think that the key differences um, of Positrack uh, really lie in the way we transfer torque. Mm -hmm. We at NOV utilize a threat engagement mechanism, which is, by the way, a patented feature, uh, which allows us to bring down the amount of friction that we generate within the sill. Mm -hmm. So what I mean by that is um, we manage to design a really, really low contact area between the male and female part of the thread. Mm. Thereby, we substantially reduce the amount of friction that our tool has to fight in order to respond mm. to downhole dysfunctions. Conversely, if you look at other products on the market, mm -hmm. um, while there are some pros and cons to each of the product in this space, what's really common among lots of these tools is that before they could respond to these drilling dysfunctions, they must first overcome internal friction. So luckily, the positive track uh, doesn't have this issue. We kind of resolved it at the design stage. So that's really um, what comes with it. Primarily, it's the tool efficiency, which directly translates into better performance. Hmm. And I will like also to add that um, with this design feature, uh, the amount of attrition and wear that we accumulate mm. on these internal components is really low, mm. which uh, helps us improve reliability as well. Mm. Um, so we're pretty proud of our track record to date. Over the course of several dozen runs, we've had zero tool failures, which is truly important <laughs> yeah. for operators. Absolutely. I wanted to ask too, so I know a lot of other products in the space tend to be um, a little more rigid and that, I know that can kind of have certain limitations when you're running like in high dog uh, like applications. And so I, I wanted to ask, you know, what should operators be aware of when running Positrack uh, in a curve? Absolutely. Um, just like other BHA components, these kinds of tools um, must possess certain stiffness in order to be able to to run in the BHA in the first place. Right. Um, as we all know, if you play something within the BHA, you generally anticipate higher compressive loads. Mm -hmm. You may expect um, torsional vibrations, sometimes even HFTO, uh, which could pose substantial risks to your operations. Mm -hmm. uh, so knowing that, we made our tools very rugged and robust. At the same time, we also wanted to balance that rigidity by adding some flexibility to the tool. And our main objective was to ensure that operators could get past their curves mm -hmm. as quickly as they can. So to put things into perspective, the uh, slim hole tool, uh, which is a 5-inch OD tool, mm -hmm. can be rotated um, at dog legs up to 15 degrees. Whereas our larger tool, the six and three quarter tool, is good up to 12 degrees uh, mm -hmm. rotating dog legs. 
the sliding or also known as pass-through dog legs mm -hmm. are nearly double those numbers. So as long as your curve or turn section is within those values, you can rotate um, safely and effectively with positive track, whether you are on bottom or off bottom. Very, very, very interesting. Very good news. Uh, and Danny, so Roman mentioned a little bit about the zero failures. And I want to ask you, what are some um, kind of target uh, applications for Positrack? And maybe can you tell us a little bit about results there? Sure. Um, so the, the, the main objective of the technology is to absorb torsional vibrations mm -hmm. and also help manage the weight transfer to the bed, make sure that the bed is mm -hmm. always rotating at the same RPM and there is no torque spikes. That's where that uh, scene from the movie that you were mentioning yeah, comes right. from, right? Yeah. Both tires rotating yep, at the same spin, speed. Some does exactly. yep. <laughs> so we want everything above and below the positive track to rotate at the same speed, mm. right? So the applications really are any well profile, any BHA design that has challenges keeping the bit rotating at a constant speed, mm -hmm. right? If there's downhole tool failures or performance uh, issues related to mm -hmm. torsional vibration and stick slip, the positive track is definitely the, the, the right tool for the job. Uh, we've run it so far in, in motor BHAs, mm -hmm. in motorized uh, RSS motor BHAs, verticals, tangents, uh, curves, laterals, you know, thousands of feet uh, of uh, laterals. Um, all these applications are ideal for the posi track, especially where there is this expensive downhole equipment involved. Mm -hmm. um, and I would like to say also that in these long lateral uh, uh, wells, the posi track is addressing the issues in the near BHA or in the mm -hmm. near bed, I should say, in the lower BHA. If there is still weight transfer issues farther up the string because of the curve, because you have a three mile lateral, the agitator uh, technology, for example, can complement what the posi track is doing by mm. helping that weight transfer. So the technologies are not exclusive. In fact, one can help the other. Right. And then you will have the total complete uh, package and solutions, not just for vibration mitigation, but also uh, for performance improvement. Um, mm. We recently, uh, very exciting, we had another run in, in Latin America mm. where we run the, the posi track in a borehole enlargement application, which is another... Oh. Uh, yeah you know, another range of opportunities <laughs> that we open because there's always that challenge of managing mm -hmm. the weight between the cutter blocks in the reamer as well as on the bit. And the posi track allows for both cutting structures to be more in sync. The, the run was a huge success. The customer was extremely happy. In fact, uh, I think we're mobilizing tools again to, to, to run them again in next week or in two weeks. Yeah. And, uh, I think uh, it's looking great to make that tool part of the VHA, which is what we want. It's uh, yeah, absolutely. very exciting. Yeah. Doing really well so far. <laughs> and I'd like to say we recently, I mean, the tool is, is very new. Uh, we've mm -hmm. been working with this uh, tool for about a year or less than a year. Wow. And like Roman said, is we're up to several dozen runs, uh, multiple sizes. Mm -hmm. uh, we already started the design for, for new sizes up in the, in the bigger tool sizes, like eight inch and nine and a half. We're looking into that. And... Uh, and yeah, so far so so good, and 100% reliability, which is yeah. not a lot. Of, not <laughs> yeah. A lot of people can say that, right? You know, so. <laughs> That's exciting. I know. I, when I when y'all came in this morning, y'all were talking about something, and I couldn't follow everything, but I could hear it was excitement. You said, "Hey, all good news. We're getting all good news." So that's. It's always fun to have a topic yes. on the show where, where it's all exciting coming in. Um, I wanted to ask also, so we talked about the curve. Um, what are some other considerations, operational considerations that operators should be aware of or should consider? Sure. Yeah, from the operational side, the tool is fully mechanical. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it makes it relatively simple, um, but it makes it uh, easier to, you know, to maintain the, that reliability. Mm -hmm. um, it, we there is a lot of communication before the job for pre-job planning with the customer. Uh, we need to mm -hmm. understand what the application is going to be, well profile BHA, as well as what kind of parameters they use. Uh, the tool has to operate yeah. with a, a specific operating window, and it is for us to set up the tool so that the mm -hmm. tool always stays in that operating window, uh, regardless of the downhole conditions, because that's yeah. how the tool is going to provide value. Um, there is no ID restriction, so obviously mm -hmm. there is very little pressure drop across the tool. And in terms of technical specifications uh, for torsional and, and tensile yields and such, our tool stands up with anybody else's tool out there. 
if not exceeded uh, right. because of the the way the tool is built. NOV is, is known and Downhole is known for for building tools with very high reliability uh, records. And this one definitely it's up there with with the best tools that we have. So yeah, very excited. Uh, I invite whoever is watching. <laughs> Call us, give us a call and, uh, you know, and uh, ask yes. us about it. We'll give you a, a full uh, presentation. There are videos. Um, mm -hmm. We want to know about the tool and, and you know, enjoy the benefits like yes. everybody else. Absolutely. And I think I even, I have the link. We can put it on screen, um, but we y'all have a, a URL. It's uh, nov.com slash track. So easy to remember. I double checked it. They can go to that. And it has, you know, a lot of the features on the website, has a contact us button. That way they can get in contact with the team. But maybe we can add a clip from the movie. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, get my cousin Vinny in on there. <laughs> Absolutely. And I just think it's so exciting. I mean, you y'all both mentioned reliability a lot. And from a lot of the technology we've talked about on the show, I mean, that's just so key. And the less time, downtime, the less time you're having mm -hmm. to fix something, all of that is just so critical. And and so it's it's exciting to hear a product that has that, that's such a key feature. Time yeah. is money for our customers yep. and for us. And the longer <laughs> we can keep these tools in the hole drilling, the better. Mm -hmm. so. Absolutely. I agree. Well, I do have one question that we have uh, that came from online. Um, so this one, uh, I, I, can't, I think it came from, um, I almost said Twitter, but X. Uh, but what information, if any, is required to properly configure the tool for an application? I'll speak a little bit to that. Sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's pretty generic information. We'd like to know the expected weight on bit range, mm -hmm. as well as the torque values that we anticipate in this uh, upcoming run. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we may not have a good grasp on the downhole torque. So mm -hmm. if it's a motorized RSS, we'd like to know the motor pressure differential because that could help us understand what the downhole torque could be. We'd like to know the well profile um, and the BHA sheet. This is the uh, absolute minimum that we'd like to know to properly configure the tool and provide the recommendations as to where to place this tool for maximum mm -hmm. efficiency and effectiveness. Mm -hmm. and, and I'll add a question. So I think we already answered. So this is something that customers can call in now. They can, like it's mm -hmm. not in testing or anything. So. I just want to make sure to clarify that the audience do that they can call up now and 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 be able to to implement this and i'll throw that link um one more time on online it's nov.com slash uh posit track so very exciting thank you for answering the audience question um and i think oh i did want to also mention uh if anyone wants to follow any updates on posit track that we do have a downhole linkedin page um and that they can they can kind of follow us there and, and keep up to date and we're updating all this information as we get more runs right. and we document those runs, mm -hmm. offsets. There's a lot of good analysis going on. So um, yeah. the, the database is growing by the day and yeah. there is more and more information available. So yeah, maybe we'll have to have you all back on in, in six months or so. Yeah, for an update, <laughs> we'd love to. Yeah, totally. Absolutely. Well, thank you both so much for, for joining us today and, and helping answer some of our audience questions as well. That's sure. great. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And I want to thank everybody watching at home for tuning in and spending uh, some of your morning or maybe afternoon with us. And I also wanted to shout out our production team behind the scenes. On today's show, we had Paul Dufio, Kaylee Shelton, Wei Han Lin, and Donna Jones. So thank you, everybody, for all of your input. And again, thank you to the audience for tuning in. You can watch all past episodes of the show at NOV.com slash live uh, and follow us on all social medias at NOV Global. My name is Shelby Dumain, and I've been your host today. Uh, thank you for joining NOV Live. We'll see you next time.